the fiery start of a 12-year mission to peer below ice on another world. The Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE, is looking for alien oceans that might harbor life. It will study Callisto, Europa, and Ganymede, three of the biggest moons orbiting the nearest gas giant to Earth, as well as Jupiter itself. We can say that Jupiter is like a mini solar system. Imagine that Jupiter at its center is like the star, and then the icy moons are like the planets. Scientists believe each hides a dark ocean, 100 kilometers deep or more, beneath the pockmarked icy surfaces. On Earth, Jupiter is one of the brightest objects in the night sky. These moons are visible through a basic telescope. But it's 600 million to 1 billion kilometers away from Earth. And getting there without relying on its own fuel means JUICE needs the gravitational pull of several planets, including our own, to pick up enough speed. After leaving Earth, it's planned that JUICE will make one orbit around the Sun and then return a few months later to use the gravity of both Earth and the Moon to gain more speed. Venus will give it a push in August 2025 before it again passes Earth in 2026 and 2029. It'll then travel at top speed toward Jupiter. That'll catch it in 2031. It will have four years to find and measure the oceans. Our instruments is a radar, a low-frequency radar, that uh, has uh, the focus on the analysis of the subsurface of uh, the icy moons. So we look uh, into the mysteries of the subsurface uh, because we can penetrate uh, for about nine kilometers. Magnetometers will measure how these oceans move. JUICE will map materials on the moon's surfaces in detail and take photographs. It will spend most of its time in orbit around Ganymede, a rare moon that has its own magnetic field. The real mission of JUICE is to find habitability. This does not mean life. It means the conditions for the appearance of life. But that would be a huge step. The pioneering mission is due to end in July 2035. By then, JUICE will be withered by Jupiter's harsh radiation and crash into Ganymede. Mission accomplished. Colin Baker, Al Jazeera.